Hey there, it's nice to be back. The weather has been changing again. It's often rainy, but today the sky was so clear and blue and bright, and every part of me needed to spend as much time as I could outside in the sunlight. It's been one of those days where I feel like if it was my last day on earth, I would be so happy. I would feel satisfied that I had done what I could and lived and loved as close to my truth as I could have. Even amongst a little sadness, there's a deeper sense of peace within myself. The last few months have been very busy with many new beginnings and experiences and focus on other things. <laughs> Despite the beautiful chaos, I've been adventuring when I can, still feeling the familiar ache to get out into the woods and the world to leave the crowds of the city behind and become absorbed into the anonymity of the mountains and the water and the trees. And every time I do, I remember just how much I need it. This video is really just many collective moments and feelings over my last few months, and I hope you enjoy. Everybody, <laughs> this feels so weird. We're going for a Christmas day swim, and my bro is here. Yes. That's <laughs> How true. do you feel? Excited. <laughs> It's a new year. Last year was a lot. A lot happened. Not all of it great, but when is everything great, really? That sounds really ominous. Uh, last year was good, <laughs> uh, but there were definitely a lot of changes. The point is, towards the end of the year, like, very end of the year, I was staying out pretty late, not sleeping well, not eating well, was not sticking to my regular habits and healthy routines and I could definitely notice that. I like beginning my day in a fresh start and turning up to class, feeling alive and free uh, and that was not happening. And the first thing I would say when people asked how are you, I would say tired and that's not a nice way to live. I was getting tired of being tired. It is uh, Tuesday the 9th of January and I'm ready to get my life back in order. I'm already doing that. I completed a 36 hour fast this morning. That was pretty nice feeling actually. Sleeping earlier is also on my list of things, but it's currently 11.24 p.m. and that's not really working out. Today is a bit of a sad day, and that's okay. I'm pretty fine with it, to be honest. What I did do was buy some of this. As part of a self-care afternoon, we are gonna dye my hair, hopefully. Also tomorrow, my university 
university. <laughs> my university is having a kind of formal ball sort of thing, so I think a lot of people are gonna be dressed in kind of fancy. Um, yeah, I thought it might be kind of cool to do something nice for that. So, gonna document the process and see what happens. I might not smile very much. Maybe I will. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> this sounds kind of depressing. Don't worry, it's gonna be fun. I have to add some boiling water to this first of all. I would also like to point out that this hair dye is really nice because it uses pretty much only natural ingredients and uh, that's all I want for my hair. The other thing about today, because today is turning into a hair day, I'm gonna trim a little bit of my hair because I have these curtain bands which are tied up um, purposely because they're getting a bit annoying to be honest. So that's the next task. Brush this out. As much as it would be fun to video this whole experience, I don't have enough storage on my phone so that's not gonna happen. So don't expect too much. It's a mess. So, I think it's pretty nice actually. The dye is washed out. Clearly you cannot see much of a difference. I think in the light there's a little bit of change. I mean, it was worth a try and the whole experience was very fun. And here we are at the end of the video. I always forget to do a kind of closing goodbye. So here I am doing that as I'm editing. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random series of clips. That's usually what my videos kind of are. It's partly for me, well, mostly for me, I suppose, to look back over the years and just see like little parts of my days over a few months. I hope you felt kind of calm or nice or maybe a little inspired by going outside or you know being amongst the trees or the water. Make sure you take care of yourself first and foremost. Keep finding little things in your days that bring a bit of calm and peace of mind and I'll see you next time.